In lesson two, in lesson 22 of module one, the kids um, had a little bit of work with the distance formula. And I'd like to show you two problems that were similar to the ones we did in class today. If John's plane traveled at a constant speed of 377 miles per hour for six hours, how far did the plane go? And the students were introduced to the formula distance equals rate times time. So the students have to identify what pieces in their word problem are the distance, which ones are the rate, and which ones are the time. This is 377 miles per hour. It's a rate. It's comparing your miles to your hours. So I'm going to plug 377 here. Okay, six hours is a time and the units match. We have hours to hours. So I'm looking for my D distance. Okay, so I'm going to actually multiply 377 times 6. And the distance traveled is 2,262 miles. And there's some other types of problems I'd like to go over from this lesson. Another kind of problem you can get is one like this. John's plane traveled 3,393 3 miles on his trip, and the plane was traveling 377 miles per hour. What is the plane's rate? So again, the kids are encouraged to use the distance formula. Distance equals rate times time. They have to identify the distance, the rate, and the time from the word problem. 3,393 miles. It doesn't say miles per hour, so I know this is a distance. Three hundred and seventy-seven miles per hour. That's a rate. And if you're watching this video, you've just learned that Mrs. Alderman screwed up on doing her word problem. It should say, what was the time traveled? So I already have the rate. Sorry about that. Okay, the rate. So we're looking for the time. What I'm trying to teach students is that they need to understand this is an equation. 377 times some number is giving you 3,393. And I want my kids to learn that to undo a multiplication equation, they have to do the opposite operation or the inverse operation, which is division. Students take their answer, divide it by the other part of their equation. So you always start with the answer. 3,393 divided by 377 is 9. This plane traveled for 9 hours, okay, to travel 3,393 miles. Let me give you one other type of problem. Okay, and I promise this is the last one. Um, John's plane traveled for 45 minutes at a constant rate of 360 miles per hour. How far did the plane travel? So again, we encourage the kids to use the distance formula, and we have to identify the parts here. I'm stuck here, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. The rate is 360 miles per hour. That's the rate. Since the rate is given to me in hours, my time has to be in hours. My time isn't in hours right now, it's in minutes. So I'm going to have to change it to hours, okay? Which is 45 over 60 minutes that make an hour, okay? Kids can do this problem in two ways. They can simplify this fraction. They're both divisible by 5, simplifies to 9 twelfths. They're both divisible by 3, and it's most simplified, that's 3 fourths. Top times top is 1,080. Bottom times bottom is 4, OK? 
Okay, so students can do 1,080 divided by 4, and they're going to get the distance traveled to be 270 miles. I would also be okay with students turning 3 divided by 4 into a decimal and multiplying on their calculator 360 times 0 0.75 because they are really going to get the same answer of 270 miles. I hope this helps you understand Lesson 22.